Today we will talk about simple applications of Newton's laws of motion in day-to-day -day life. Let's start with a pretty fundamental and basic activity that we do. Jumping. To jump, we have to somehow overcome the force of gravity. Let us see what Newton's laws of motion tells us about this whole process. We have a ground, we have a person who is pushing down on the ground with a weight of mg. The ground is pushing up with the same weight mg, right? So if I look at the person in isolation, he has gravity pushing down as mg, at the same time the ground is pushing up with mg, which is Newton's third law of motion, which essentially tells us that if we don't do any work, we will remain exactly where we are rooted to the ground. Now, to be able to jump, that means to be able to jump up, we somehow have to generate a force in this direction, which more than compensates for the downwards motion of gravity. How do we do that? Let us try a very simple experiment. Why don't you go stand on your two feet and try to jump, but try to jump without bending your knees. How did that go? It is more difficult than we thought it would be. Right? However, try now to go and jump by bending your knees. Go ahead and try it. Jump, but this time allow you yourself the luxury of bending your knees. Now that was simple. And if you look back, every time we've jumped in our lives, we've always bent our knees. So what really happens when we bend our knees? So if you look at, this is once again the ground, and take for example, this is your feet, this is your knee and then you bend yourself, right? And then this is the body. What you are essentially trying to do is create a force in this direction. What that means is that losing the biomechanical, the bioenergy which is stored in your knees, you are converting that energy to a force which is pushing down. Now what is happening is when you push down with your weight plus this new force, the ground will also push back with exactly the same amount of force. That's what Newton's third law says. Now if you look at a person what is in isolation? There is the weight of gravity, which is mg, and then there is a weight, there is a pressure being exerted by the ground on himself, which is no longer just mg, but with this new force, which is a result of your biomechanical force, which your muscles are able to generate. Now, the way the muscles are able to generate is by contraction and rapid expansion of your muscles. To do that, we actually utilize energy, which is what we get when we eat food. So that is exactly the way from childhood we have learned without somebody telling us how to jump. So the knee compression generates a force in this direction. This is the new force which we are generating, which is adding the pressure on the ground. The ground responds by generating an equal and opposite reaction and that reaction allows us to overcome gravity. That was quite simple. We can look at one other quick example how we use Newton's law of motions effectively if we know 
what exactly is happening. Take for example, you are standing and assuming, and this is from the last class, we had a person who is 40 kgs trying very hard to push an object, say which is 80 kgs. If we do so with the knees kept straight, what essentially happens is this 80 kg, to move this 80 kg, we have to overcome the friction. The friction out here is 80 multiplied by C, which is the coefficient of friction between the wood and the ground. We need to overcome that and we talked about it in the last session. If this is going back at me, there's a good chance that my coefficient of friction, which is 40 into C, this force might actually push me backwards more than allowing me to push forwards. However, I can do a simple trick. The simple trick goes something like this. This is myself as usual. Now what I do is instead of pushing in this direction with my legs straight, I kind of do a bent knee. And you can easily do this at home. Ask somebody to be on the other side of the door and try to push the door open with him or her exerting equal amount of force. And you will find as soon as you bend your knee, your job becomes that much easier. Let us see what is happening. So what we know is that when we push forward to overcome a force of ATC, there's a force of ATC which is applied back at me. Right? Now what happens is when we bend our knee, so this is the force which is ATC which is applied at me. But when I bend my knee, say at 45 degrees angle, I'm choosing that angle to be making it simple. Then the force, the component of the force in this direction is ATC by root 2. Now let us see, funny thing is now going to happen on the ground. On the ground what is happening is, previously we had 40 into C being the force which was applied on the ground. And that's the friction which is going this way. Now what is happening is this force is going to now exert a pressure force in this direction. What is the thing? So now no longer is this force only 40 kgs. It is now 40 kgs plus 80 C by root 2, which is the magnitude of the force which is applied in this direction. And then assuming this is again 45, we now have to then multiply this one by root 2 and we get sorry this is C so 40 plus 40 C is the force which is being applied in the downward direction now the coefficient of friction now will still be C so instead of applying only on 40 we now have 40 plus 40 C multiplied by C is the new force which is applied this force is significantly greater than the original 40C that we were applying. And this might be just good enough, the difference, the delta between these two forces might be just good enough to overcome our ATC that we need to generate. So what we see is very clearly, very clearly by bending our knees, we are able to generate supposedly a higher amount of power to any activity of pushing that we want to do. So try this at home, go to a gym, try to set yourself in a situation where you have to kind of push weight forward. You have to push weight forward and then check what is the amount that you can push forward with your knees straight. Now bend your knees and push forward and you will find your ability to generate to raise or move weight is significantly increased. And that is all because of Newton's laws of motion.
I hope you enjoyed the last 10 minutes and look forward to seeing you over the next few sessions. Thank you.